So, I might have accidentally done a lot of things on the server without recording them. And there may be lots of proof. And all I can do is ask for forgiveness. You know that saying that's like, sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission? That's what I'm, what I'm going off right now. So, I have done a lot of things. Um, case in point, some of the things outside that I will show you. Like these giant terrariums that I built in the backyard. Um, and I will explain this all later. Um... But basically, I have not filmed any time lapses, I have not filmed any building projects, and that's just because I didn't want to. I was vibing, I was having a good time on the server, I was building, I was, I was having a blast. But, um, I feel guilty now. Just a little bit. Just, as the French say, un petit peu. Un petit peu, a little bit guilty. So... Um, because I feel a little bit guilty for not showing you guys the things that I've done over the past few weeks on the Brain Rot server, I am about to give you your first ever time lapse from me. You can see up in the left hand corner, I had to figure out my left from right. Um, I have a, I, my, I have a recording, a recording thing, my video is paused, um, and that's because I have the replay mod installed, so we're about to do the first ever time lapse. Um, I also built this. <laughs> um, I built this the other day, a giant basement. Um, with the help of Keegan, Keegan built this this beacon for me and built out this basement. And so I have a bunch of few. I have an automated um, bamboo farm. I okay. Let me let me know in the comments because I'm having issues with my bamboo farm. So it works. Redstone wise, see, look, look at that. Great, and then it feeds in there and then it comes down here if I could get in here and it feeds into this chest so I have you know a bunch of bamboo in here um, I'm using it as fuel for whatever's in here which we're gonna get to in a second but some of it does not as you saw before it doesn't go here it like gets caught um, so if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that I'd be I'd be up for those suggestions because I tried to put these trap doors around it thinking maybe this would help like it would bounce off and into the water, but it gets caught on this dirt, so I don't really know how to fix that. So if anyone has some suggestions, put your comments down below and I will definitely read through them and try to enhance my bamboo farm because, you know, everything that gets stuck right here, it could despawn. It has the possibility of despawning, and I don't want that. I want to optimize the amount of, the amount of bamboo <laughs> that I get from the farm. Oh, gosh dang it. Oopsie daisies. But, oh, shoot. See, look. It, it did not fall into the right place. Um, but, I am using some of it, some of the bamboo that I'm getting, to smelt what's in these. And what's in these has a lot to do with what we're building today, what we're going to time lapse today. So in here, and I think I still have, yes, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some mangrove roots in there. So what's in here, as you, as you saw, is terracotta, red terracotta. I'm, I'm glazing it. And in this one is, oh, am I done with this one? Oh, no. And this one is white terracotta. See, I've glazed this one too. Um, and then in this one is just like leftover terracotta, like gray terracotta. There's uh, up here. Oh, where is it? And here is different colors because um, when I was digging out the terracotta biome, I couldn't just dig out the red and the white. I would get some extra sometimes too. So... So I decided to just smelt all of it because I figured I could put it in my shop I built that you guys also don't know about. I've done a lot. I've done a lot in the past few weeks um, that we're going to get to all today. But first, I've promised you this time lapse. So instead of telling you what it's going to be, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get started. So, you know, future K, hit it. Hit it with the time-lapse music, time-lapse girl.
kind of accidentally underestimated how much red terracotta I needed so if the time lapse stopped abruptly um this is the reason so I thought that I had gotten enough red terracotta but obviously I was extremely wrong seeing as I only filled up not even a quarter of the space that I had cleared out with the trees but let me go to bed so that we don't get attacked by by creatures in the middle of the night but um now that i've started the time lapse you guys can kind of see what i'm going for in this area that i've cleared out i want to build a giant mushroom forest so i've deforested the actual trees and now i'm trying to rebuild with the mushrooms um the only real way i know how to make kind of authentic looking mushrooms is by just redecorating the acacia trees mostly because they have like these i don't know kind of like flat mushroom like tops and the stems go kind of like all over the place so it's almost like more organic than trying to build one by myself um so that's the reason that we have these acacia saplings planted all over the place and that we're gonna fill this kind of area back up with acacia trees it's just because it's easier for me to build mushrooms based off of an already organic uh generation so the rest of this is going to get filled up by these mushrooms and I I built them with concrete or no 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 I built them with glazed terracotta. Look, I only I only halfway finished this one. Whoopsies. That's okay cuz this one's like four trees kind of built together, so that's fine. Um but I built them with this glazed terracotta. I had done some work in a um, creative world trying to see what I liked best if I liked the actual mushroom stem and the actual like red mushroom block um, but my thing is that I feel like getting the actual mushroom blocks is a lot harder than getting this glazed terracotta I'm pretty sure there's a terracotta biome just like right over there um, because I went to one over that way I think but there's one like pretty close to us that I can just excavate out and that would be a lot easier than getting these like mushroom blocks plus i just think that this is a lot cooler like they're not really like standard traditional mushrooms uh because they are built with these terracotta that have you know kind of funky textures so i thought this was a lot neater than building it with normal mushroom blocks um i'm not going to time lapse anymore because i don't have the resources and i'm actually kind of running short on time to edit this video whoopsie daisy so instead we're going to jump to me showing you guys my shop that i built okay so we made it back to spawn i feel like spawn is something that you guys have not seen from me for a while so let's stop and look um i know that undead is making a map of spawn this is undead giant tower that i'm not gonna go look at because you guys should go watch undead's videos about his giant tower um and this is the spawn area i think this is what where are oh i'm right here whoopsies it tells me whoops i forgot um so yeah this is the spawn area this is gizmos over here um and this over here is the new kind of shopping district so let's go check it out because that's where my shop is over there i know keegan's shop is right there but mine is over here closer to everyone else's um, because this is originally where I built 
the brain rot logo which i have now taken down um because i hated it this is where mel's gonna build um their shop i forget exactly what it is but i know that they cleared that space out for them um this is gizmo's wood shop i i feel like maybe we might have come around here and looked at this stuff already but i'm not too sure um of course this is vince prismarine shop i mean oh they have they added it upstairs okay let's see what's up here <gasps> oh i forgot that they added the tridents and the like enchanted books unbreaking i need these two diamonds i don't have any on me right now um but and this is a uh, vent and keegan's rocket shop in here so this is full of rockets um for oh shit we went to the end i don't have a bow i have one but i am i am scared for my life <gasps> oh oh how the hell i get down I'm gonna die. You should- you guys should pick up my stuff. <gasps> Alright, well, that was fun, but definitely not for me. You'll never catch me going back into this end portal ever again. I don't like the end, nor do I care for it. So, as we listen to the sounds of both portals, one behind me, one in front of me, um, I shall let you guys know, we'll never go to the end ever again. Hello. Oh! Now that we're back from the end, um, and we know that a bunch of people have, um, elytras, and that's why the rocket shop is there, here's my shop. Um, so, obviously, the brain rot logo used to be right here where this little outhouse is. Hey's outhouse. Um, there is a man using the restroom, I'm so, so sorry. I, um, should've- I'll knock next time, my bad. Um... So this is where the Brain Rot logo used to be, and I replaced it with a whole shop. This is Kay's Oddity Shop. Um, so I built this shop, and I don't have any glass in the windows. I should probably build some glass for the windows. Um, but I built the Oddity Shop to look kind of decrepit and like old. Obviously, obviously it's not like super decrepit, but you know, it looks a little bit more outdated than like some of the other shops here in Spawn. Um, especially I've seen sneak peeks of Mel's shop. Theirs was very, like, modern, whereas mine is kind of, like, older, a little bit run down. It's really only using cobble and, uh, different, uh, wood variations. So, my thought process for this, and the reason it's called the Oddity Shop, is because if anyone knows Gravity Falls, I'm a very big fan of Gravity Falls. I loved that show growing up. It was a big part of my childhood. And I figured, let's just make a Gravity Falls-esque oddity shop on the server. And for a long time, I didn't really know what that meant. I thought I was going to get into the um, tiny, like, heads mod that we have on the server. And also just, like, doll creating. If anyone has seen um, Zombie Cleo on the Hermitcraft server, they do a lot of really cool, like, uh, things with dolls and, like, making dolls. Um, and so I thought that's what was going to be in here for the time being. But actually, I have a lot better of an idea. So I went out exploring the other day and I don't have a, I don't have an inner chest, so we're gonna have to use vents. Um, I went out exploring the other day and I got a few just like, not junk items, but junk items. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is inside the oddity shop, I'm obviously gonna build an interior and within the interior i'm going to put a bunch of chests just all over the place some in very like plain sight some kind of like hidden in the corners um maybe if i have enough room hidden behind like paintings um and within the chests are going to be these different like oddities and everything is going to be one diamond anything like any stack of something so let me let me show you what i mean so in this chest oh so in this so in this <laughs> Thank you.
so in this chest, there's stacks of fish. So see, look, 64. Or you could have one singular fish. So within my shop, within Kay's oddity shop, there will be anything in a chest, whether it's stacked or whether it's one singular item, it's going to be one diamond. So you could have one pair of golden leggings with mending on it for one diamond, or you could have, I don't know, a stack of tropical fish for one diamond. So it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a stack or whether it's a singular item, it's going to be one diamond. And my thought process is that that is going to change every week. The inventory is going to change every week. And some of the good stuff is going to be kind of like hidden away. Whereas some of the like more junky kind of like, you know, gimmicky stuff is going to be like in plain sight. So every week it gives people on the brain rot server to come an incentive to come back and look through all of the stuff and almost do a type of like scavenger hunt within the store. So because it's that like rotating inventory, like I said, it just keeps people coming back and it's like a good little activity, I feel like, on the server. Also, I built these paths. Do you guys like these paths? I think they're pretty neato, Mosquito. So, with a little bit of editing magic, ta-da! Or maybe I went this way. Ta-da! Okay, so with the power of editing, I did finish the room um so you can see there's a bunch of different chests in here some of them are a little bit more hidden than others so this one's kind of hidden down there there's this one in the corner um there's barrels here obviously not everything has stuff in them yet i'm still working on collecting some different oddities but see look i have like golden leggings um a zombie cartographer's head so just like bits and baubles um, and here I have slime balls, a banner pattern, and some sea pickles. So just whatever anyone wants in here, just one diamond. There is a potion of regeneration in here somewhere. You guys will have to- oh my god, I- um, let me- I was trying to give you a kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, you guys will have to go watch some other Brain Rot members episodes to figure out where that is, see if they find it, because I'm not going to tell you. Absolutely no way. Um, but that is basically what's going to happen here. So this would be one diamond, this would be one diamond, but then also like this would be a diamond, just the pickaxe. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to put up the sign because right now the sign says coming soon, but it's open for business. So let's go ahead and change this to say any stack, oh, back slash loan items found in chests equal one diamond okay i think this kind of i think that makes sense so if they walk in they're like oh okay let me check in this chest oh my god i really want this zombie cartographer's head one diamond for the zombie cartographer head if they're like oh man i really need six sea pickles for absolutely no reason one diamond so that is how this is going to work again the inventory is going to be changing every week so it'll give people incentive to come in search through and who knows maybe we'll be changing up the changing up where the chests are just to give it you know just to give it a little bit of spice a little bit of pizzazz um, so I think that's, that'll be really cool. I'm glad that I got to show you guys the shop because I've been, I built it forever ago, like weeks ago, I built this. So I'm glad that we got to check it out and we got to put some things in it together and build out the interior. And I'm also glad that we got to do the time lapse today, even though it's not finished, we'll uh, continue working on it in the next few episodes and hopefully soon we will have a fleshed out mushroom forest um but as for me as for today that's all i really wanted to show you guys all i really wanted to do um and now i can continue to work on things off camera um which is great i will try not to do as much as i did last time without showing you guys so hopefully i'll i'll stick to my word but um again if you want to see anything that goes on in the shop 
or find any new items in the shop, go check out some of the other Brain Rot members who are tagged in the description down below. Or you can always just subscribe to me, because why not? You might end up liking it.